How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a ripple project just like these ones right here and I'll show you guys how to do it. Let's get going. All right, so in today's project, we're going to be doing a, a ripple project, uh, basically that looks kind of like these two right here. Now we don't need a border, uh, so for remote learning, we're just gonna be doing it either on a blank sheet of paper and you're gonna need a pencil, of course, but if you wanna use color, it will turn out a lot better. So with that said, uh, it's quite an easy project and I'll explain how to do it. So in your head, I want you guys to think of five or more objects. Um, don't go more than seven though. And we're gonna spread them out evenly on the piece of paper and we're gonna make them the size of like a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do a couple ideas that I have in my head. Now you can do just do plain simple shapes like these two over here, or you can go more like your direction of uh, stuff that you might like instead. So what I mean by that, so say for instance, one of your shapes is a circle. Maybe you wanna turn it into something else. Maybe you wanna turn it into a Pokeball. So there is a Pokeball. All right, maybe you wanna do something like a rectangle, uh, but instead of a rectangle, maybe you wanna turn that into a YouTube play button, just like this. So you get the idea, you wanna have at least five or more. Don't do, uh, don't do more than seven, again, like I said, because it's gonna to get too crowded. And you'll see why that's a bad thing in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick um, about three more shapes, making sure that they're evenly spaced, and then we'll go from there. So I think my next one will be a triangle. I'm gonna do Triforce based off of Zelda, just like this. Break it in half, and then meet in the middle right here. Uh, maybe I will do, hmm, what other shapes can I do? I can't think right now. Could I do another rectangle? No, I should do a game controller. Let's do a game controller. Whoop. I think it has a little D-pad right there. Analog stick, two buttons right there. There's another analog stick right there. And then it kind of goes up a little bit. And then it goes down and around. And it has four buttons on this side. It has top triggers right there and there. And sometimes you can draw a line to divide it in half. Ta-da! All right, so I have four so far. I'm gonna put one more, maybe two. No, let me just do one more <laughs> and we'll call it done. All right, um, hmm, what's another easy shape I could do? Why don't I do um, a laptop, since we're virtual learning? Let me just do a simple laptop. Okay, here is the keyboard. And here is the top half where the screen is. All right. To resemble a keyboard, let me just make sure I have all the keys here. Enter. There you go. Space bar. And I don't have enough room for the mouse, or sorry, for the trackpad, but it's okay. All right, let me just draw the screen. All right, so my objects are done. If you need to color them, I suggest you do that right now. So I'm gonna color in my uh, little play button right here. Uh, Triforce is yellow. Here we are. And Pokeball. Why don't I make it into a Master Ball instead? I think it looks kind of like this. There's two little circles on top. There's an M in the middle. So I'll make sure I have room for that. There you go. Pokeball is, sorry, <laughs> Master Ball is designed properly. All right. A laptop. I think I'm just gonna make gray, if I have a gray. I do have a gray. Here we go. Just like that. I'll make the keyboard gray as well. And then, I think I'm gonna make the screen for the purposes of this video. I'm gonna look at the screen blue, probably. There we are. Blue screen. It's not broken though. <laughs> All right. Color that in. A couple white spots. That's no biggie. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave the outside of this play button red, I think. 
I should have colored it reverse. I should have kept the triangle white and then the outside red, but it's okay. Um, why don't I copy my other game controller? So I think I have... Hmm, I found a teal. There you go. I think my buttons look like this. Uh, the actual controller itself is purple. I'll look at my co controller on the background over there. Um, looks like this kind of. Alright. I'm gonna leave the analog sticks white, just for now. Um, and the hand, handhelds are pink. There you go. I like pink. Pink's a cool color. Alright. Alright, these are my five done shapes. So now, in order to ripple them, I'm gonna go one by one, just so we have an easier time. So when it comes to ripples, if you ever dropped uh, a, a stone or something in a lake or like drop something in a pond and you see these ripples going away from it and it gets bigger and bigger that's exactly what we're about to do with all these shapes but I'm going to teach you guys what to do once these shapes start to collide it's going to be a little bit interesting and we'll go from there so I'm going to start off with one color um, let's do blue and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to outline each of them without touching the shape so I'm kind of just like giving it a broad outline not too close, not too far away. And I'm going to make sure I get the generic shape of it. Now you don't have to be very specific of the shape. But this way, it's kind of somewhat outlined. So notice how I picked really easy shapes. Even the laptop's really easy shape. I think the hardest shape I have here is the game controller. But then as I go out, it'll get a lot easier. There we go. Now next up, choose another one. Why don't I do orange? I like orange. Oh wow, that's a really nice orange. All right, so I'm gonna do this about two more times with two different colors. And you should notice that the colors should be uh, getting closer together. Now, if the shapes are already colliding already, I want you to stop and wait for me. And what I mean by that is that if they're starting to get closer, too close together, it's hard to do uh, an, an outline again around it. Uh, just hold off for a sec. So I'm just gonna keep going for right now. And I think the game controller on mine and the laptop is gonna intersect very soon. So you don't have to wait too long for me. So they should be intersecting any moment now or overlapping any moment. And that's not what I want you to do. I don't want you guys to overlap. It's gonna be very specific how ripples work. All right, so I think this will be the last one that I can do for a couple of the shapes. All right, here's the or uh, the red. All right, this is going to be the last one until I have to explain what's going to happen next. Notice how the game controller is not looking like a game controller anymore as I go out. That's okay. All right, see how close that laptop is to the game controller? That's, uh, that's a good signal of when to stop. All right, so now, here's what's happening. As you can see, we have five shapes, but two of them are getting way too close. What you're gonna do is that when you're outlining, you're gonna make them into one big shape. So instead of going like this, how this is its own shape right here, the circle one is its own shape right here. Now what you're gonna do is that if they're too close together, as you're outlining it, and as you get closer to that other shape that's too close, you're gonna add it. So in order to add it, just stop right there and just keep going around the other object. If you run out of the paper, that's okay. Just pretend that the paper keeps going on without drawing on your table. Oop, went out a little too much. My first mistake of the day. All right, one more. All right, now you can notice that the play button is now too close to these other shapes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add them on. So if you have a dead spot right here, like how I have, you could choose another color and you can just fill it in like that. And now what I'm gonna do is now I can take another color. Let's see, I don't, I don't think I've used this one. If you repeat colors, that's fine too. Now it looks like I have to add this one and it looks like I have to add the, the master ball too because the master ball looks pretty close I don't think I can get in between there. Yep, I can't go in between, so what I have to do 
is I have to add it. Looks like the triangle is still good. Oh, looks like I can't go that way, so I gotta go back. And there we go. So now we have uh, a total of two shapes. Got the triangle, and I got this big monstrosity right here. It looks like I can only do one more over here. Just like that. And it looks like I won't be able to fit another one. So it will be one big shape from then on. You can see how it's going to be a lot harder with seven shapes. So and I only did five. So maybe five is a good number to do it. Um, so we'll go from there. I'm going to choose another color. Why don't I do blue? Haven't done blue since the beginning. Let me start up here. And again, if you run out of space on the paper, just pretend it keeps going off. And then join it back up again. And here we go. Notice how I can't go this way. So now I have to join the triangle and go like that. And notice how it's starting to um, go off the page a lot more and starting to round the shapes more and it's starting to not become the shapes that it once were. If that makes sense? That's okay. All right, now in order to save time, I am gonna change color for the very last time. And then I'll finish off my picture with this color. So this next color is gonna be black because it's all one shape and I'm just gonna finish off the pictures. Now in order to finish it off, it's actually quite simple. So I'm gonna take a side, maybe this top row. So this top row right here, this top section, I can't go anywhere. So I might as well just finish it off. So here it is. And again, if I meet the outside of the paper, it's okay. So this section over here, I can just keep going lines. See what I just did? This little section right here, I can't go anywhere. That's all I could do. This section right here, that's all I can do. Oh, words in the way. <laughs> all right, this section right here, I can't go anywhere. So I just gotta keep going outwards. Like that, this little corner. I could probably just do two lines over here. Can't go anywhere. If I can go this way, this one. Oh, yep, can't go anywhere again. So I'm just gonna keep finishing this bottom part right there. And this top part, I can probably just go this way. Kind of triangle right there. And then probably add a couple lines this direction. And then I have a little couple dead spots right here. I'm just gonna have to add its own shapes. Just like so. And this one could probably have one more, and this one could probably have one more. All right. So my Ripple project is done. So um, I really like this project. It's really fun. It's really nice and soothing. You can do this while watching TV. You can do this while doing something else. Uh, it's a very soothing project and I really enjoy it. Now anyways, so anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.